Hi guys, this is Colin the Dynamic Beaver. I know it's been a long time since you've heard me. I haven't recorded video for a while, but I'm back doing some videos now. Thanks to the encouragement from a good friend of mine, David Wormsley. As you can see, I've got him up on the screen here. Go over to his blog. He's also doing some videos these days, which are really awesome. Uh, he's a really good friend. He knows what he's talking about, and I love his videos. He's also a very, very helpful person in the Beaver Builder community. So here's a big shout out to David Wormsley, a very good friend. And you can visit him at davidwormsley.com. Okay, so the reason for today's video is there's a new add-on to Beaver Builder just being released. It's actually in the beta stage right now. A lot of you might already be aware of it. Let's just click on over to my demo area here. Yeah, I know that's bright pink, but there's a reason for that. We're going to get into there in the minutes, but the new demo is by a company called Brainstorm Force. These are the guys behind the ultimate add-ons for Visual Composer, and I know I've just sworn because uh, we're all Beaver Builder fans over here, but they've decided to come on over to the Beaver Builder family and build a new add-on which will bring a whole bunch of new features to Beaver Builder that are not readily available right now. So uh, let's have a look at the ultimate add-ons here. And you can see that uh, this sold on um, Code Canyon, which is not what they're going to do with the new one. So don't be scared there. But if I go over to the uh, live preview here, you'll see some of the features they have built into their existing Visual Composer version. And they're going to bring some of these things over to Beaver Builder very shortly. So here's some of the lists. They've got flip boxes. They've got interactive banners. They've got uh, new styles of headings. They've got row separators. They've got all sorts of stuff. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I'm going to show you some of their demos for the Beaver Builder versions shortly. OK, so hang on. We're going to go and start that right now. So first of all, I'm going to show you some of the modules in action, and they've got a bit of a demo site up right now. It's not quite finished, so some of these are not working perfectly, but this is the first glimpse of some of the modules that are going to be available to you when you add the Brainstorm Ultimate add-ons to Beaver Builder when it's released. Got to remind you, this is still beta stage right now, so it's not a product you can go and buy. There is a Facebook group set up for the... Uh, beta testers and you can jump in there. I'll give you the uh, link for that after this. Okay, so let's have a quick look at some of the modules that are going to be introduced with the ultimate add-ons plugin for Beaver Builder. Okay, so we've got the advanced accordion. We've got an advanced separator. We've got buttons. I'm not quite sure what extra functionality we can bring with buttons. We've got call to actions, contact forms, counters, creative buttons, creative links. As you can see, if I go through here, we've got flip boxes. That should be pretty cool. And we've got iHarbor. We've also got uh, info boxes, interactive banners. We've got info tables, testimonials. We've got team. We've got a lot. So let's go and choose a couple of these just to show you. I'm going to do the flip box one, first of all. And this is just going to be a demo over here. And we're going to actually show you this one live in a minute on the demo site. OK, so some of these the options here, as you can see, we've got, if I don't hover over anything, but if I hover over, we've got the changes. You can see that happens. That's one example set. Let's just try another example set here. And there we go. So if we scroll down here, look, there you go. These are the flip boxes. One flip. We'll go down a little bit further. Lots of different styles down here. And I'm guessing that's not quite finished yet, but there is some there. Okay, so let's just go back up to modules again and find something else this time. Let's go to the, let's choose something, event separator. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And so I'm just going to click on the demo. And Right now we've got line, line with icon, line with image, and line with text. Okay, so I uh, line with uh, center align. Let's do line with icon, and you'll see that the icon will be in the middle. I'm hoping here. I'm clicking on the button. Nothing's happened. There it is. Okay, a bit slow there. So we've got an icon in the middle, and actually, look, when you hover over it, you've still got an effect. So there's lots of options here. One of the other things they're going to add is the sections option here. And these are pre-done sections for you that you can just add straight into a row in Beaver Builder. So as you can see, there's this one completely done. If we scroll down, I believe there are 99 of these. These are all pre-done sections that you can just drag and drop into your page as you're building it. And then obviously alter uh, or edit the content. So amazing. I mean, there's lots of stuff here. This is huge. This is going to add 
a heck of a lot more options to Beaver Builder page builder options and I, I can see that this is going to be a huge success okay so I'm going to go over to my demo area and actually show you the back end of this so let's jump right in I'm going to go into uh, page builder we're going to go on this front page here and as I said bright pink but this is one of the templates that's built into Beaver Builder 1.8 and I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to you know pick somewhere to, to put something here so we will leave the top bit alone and if you notice we've got ultimate add-ons here on the right hand side within the menu so it's below the advanced modules okay and if we click that we can go down here and we've got all these options that we saw over there so we've got the advanced accordion we've got the advanced icon we've got the event separator so for example if I bring out the event separator here into a new row let's just move that up out of the way right now it's just a line I'm gonna find somewhere to put this okay so as you see it's just a line but what we can do is we can select a line with icon and a line with text. So let's do a line with text. Let's check that one out. Okay. So now we've got ultimate right there. And now we can also change some options here. So we've got a title tag of H3 on the ultimate there. If we change that to H2, it should get a little bit bigger based on our theme settings. There we go. Okay. Uh, we can change our font family. We've got all the Google fonts in here. And we also have font size based on the responsive options so these are new options I can actually choose to set different font sizes for that based on the devices so we've got desktop tablet and phone options there also the line height is another option there but the text color I'm going to set to well let's just match that pink color up there shall we but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose my color picker pick that there bring it in and paste it and now we should have ultimate the same now let's put the line color the same there so I'm just going to go up to the style and as you can see I'm going to make it a little bit thicker so it stands out a little bit more I'm going to make it two pixels maybe three I'll make it a little bit more there we go okay and uh, so we've got basing options here we've got position at 50% so it's going to be in the middle if I put this to 25% watch this this is going to move all the way over the left hand side so I can offset anywhere along that line where I want my word goes for the uh, same for the icon too but uh, that is a really cool feature anyway I'll uh, I'll leave that at 25 percent they've got the thickness there we've got the width so I've got it set for hundred percent right now I believe that that row is only set for fixed width so it's uh, only going across there but let's just um, select the color once again we can actually paste our color in there and we should have a nice pink line there there we go at the alignment I'm not sure align the border okay so there is no border on this so uh, I'm not sure why that the border is set maybe we can have a border on there maybe we can put a border around the word I'm not quite sure uh, separator style is solid we can change it to dashed if we want we can also change it to dotted and the standard CSS of uh, sections are double really cool features okay so once again I'm gonna go to advanced then I can take the if I take the margins off here and put these down to zero and zero will grow a little bit now if I go back to the row settings yeah there we go we're, we're set on a fixed width so we'll change that to full width and we'll change the content full width and there we go and we've got the full width going all the way across there so that's just the separator column now if I go into the row settings one thing you're gonna see here is watch this I'm gonna click on the row here let's do this top row let's go to the row settings we've got these new effects options here now so I've got this option I can add a big triangle to the left let's try that because I want to go down the left side here I'm going to scroll this down okay position I want it to be on the bottom and I don't know how this is going to happen that's pretty cool okay so then we're going to change this to 100 okay and you can see that I've lost some of my image there but essentially I've got this really cool effect where I'm actually pointing in to my ultimate there so it kind of pointing the way down so that's a row effect now so if I go to this one here and go to my options now if we do a triangle triangle left a big triangle left and we do this on the top and I choose the color and we'll put our favorite pink color in there again it should kind of just set this okay so I need that top but I need it 
the other way around. So let's just do big triangle. No, I don't know if it's going to be right. What I want to do is create the reverse effect, but I think I've got to do that with a white opposite one. So I'm going to try top. I'm going to try top triangle, big triangle, left. And the background color is wrong on that row because I actually need the background color of this one to be pink. But you get the idea. So I'm just going to save that. And as you can see there, we've not now actually gone into that. So that's pretty cool. Now, we also have this option of sections up here. So if I bring this, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to add content. I'm going to add a new row. So there's my row layout. So I'm going to add, whoops, I'm going to add a column here, just above right there. Okay, single column, I'm going to make it full width. Okay, and I'm going to make the content full width too. There we go, save. Right, so let's go to the sections. Now, what you got up here are call to actions, headings, content. You've got all these listed out. So let's go to, I don't know, let's go to number and see what we've got here. Now, you see all these little thumbnails of what you've got. Now, I'm going to drag this section out here, and you can drag it into a new row. Okay, well, let's just drag it into a new row and see what happens. Dragged it into a new row, and look at that. We've got a whole new section with the counters and everything already programmed. Now, if I want to go in there and actually just change this, I can change that just like I can normally. The uh, background image, I should be able to do that too. If I go to the uh, row settings here, and I go to the photo and there's the select photo option if I want to change it okay and I've got all the options for scroll so I can change this to parallax if I want I'm going to click save but that's how easy it is to add a section to our website I'm going to delete that one so it flows really nicely there look at that isn't that quite it's sensational so there's lots and lots of sections here I don't really have time to go through but there's a search option so let's choose I don't know um, social icons so we go to social and press enter let's see what brings up okay so the search is not working quite yet on there as i thought it would be but here's the social aspect we've got one option social i was hoping to see some social lo logos maybe maybe under logos see all these options if i drag this one out here we can put this one here look at that logo sections absolutely fantastic I'm really, really liking this. And as you can see, we can go up there and that scrolls up onto the ultimate. I'm going to click done, publish. And as you can see now, we have the row styling. We also have these sections I've added in. And honestly, there are lots and lots of things to play with here in this ultimate add-ons. It's going to be fantastic. I really haven't done much justice with this video, but I'm running out of time. So I'm going to say goodbye and thanks for watching. Don't forget to head over to see my friend David Wormsley over there, watch some of his videos, leave him some comments because, you know, he puts some time, his own time into these things, and I'm sure you'll get some great value out of it. If you want to visit the Facebook group, I'm going to post the link to that, and you'll be able to find the ultimate add-ons, the Beaver Builder version for the Facebook group. You'll be able to find that in the links below. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will be back with some more videos soon. Okay, thanks. Bye now. <laughs>